just to guide us in those events and kind of what it looks like more from a planning standpoint because you guys have probably experienced it more from a participant standpoint and like being a part of these events. Alright, you can talk about this. Okay. Um, as long, uh, along with being a vice president, I'm also a Rent Rally Director. Um, we did have one in the fall this year, and then we do have another one coming up in, I think, March. Um, so this is kind of a couple pictures from it. We do, it's all of our students that make Renaissance. Are you guys kind of familiar with what that is? Yeah? Alright. Um, so it's just kind of a way to celebrate our students uh, being successful at Foothill, no matter what that means to them. Um, we have bounce houses, we have lots of different foods, games, and different activities for everyone to participate in. Um, we did one that was Finding Nemo at the beginning of this year. And yeah, we're just kind of getting ready for planning our next thing. And then there's some more pictures from the Renaissance Rally. This was from the one that we had back in October, I think yeah. it was. Um, so the our freshmen, big one is in March. Yeah, the, the big one's in March, because as freshmen, you guys don't have um, like a previous semester to kind of base your grades off of, so you're not really like quote unquote a part of the first Renaissance rally. But this next one, you're gonna get all the same privileges um, that the sophomores, juniors, and seniors got in the last one. And then uh, dances. So we have four dances a year, typically two informal and then two formal. So we started off the year with our Halloween dance. Did you guys go to that? Yeah. So that's our first one. And then second one was winter formal that we just had back in December. We're having a Sadie's Hawkins dance coming up in February, and then prom is going to be in April. Yeah. And so um, all the dances except for prom is for all four grades, but prom's just for juniors and seniors. And yeah, so obviously dances are a little bit different right now because we're doing them outside instead of inside because of COVID regulations. But um, they're super fun. The freshman class, so like each grade is kind of assigned like one of the dances. So typically the senior class president and the senior class will plan the first event and like that's kind of helps us raise money for activities for the senior class for the rest of the year. Um, the sophomore class president, their main like job is to plan winter formal and then the money that they make at winter formal is usually like their big fundraiser for their class. Um, the junior class has prom and then the freshmen plan the Sadie Hawkins dance. Yeah. So Sorry. Yeah. And then along with those, like the money that you make at those events, you um, your class grade will continue to keep moving up with that same budget. So it's important to do like as much fundraising as you can for your grade because that's going to be the money that you have for your class to spend. Yeah. So if you want to plan dances, I would say definitely go for like your class president or vice president positions, and that's yes. kind of would go down that route. ASB also plans a lot of other events, kind of like the smaller ones. So they do organize club rush. We do have, because you guys know the events, so we kind of want to show you more like what jobs are involved with those events. So we have a club director, and I, do we have a club assistant? Yeah, we do. I think we have a club director and a club assistant, and so they're in charge of making sure that all the clubs at Foothill have all the paperwork they need to be like registered as a club or an interest group. Um, you lead a few meetings at the beginning of the year while you're establishing all those groups. And then you are also in charge of Club Rush, which is probably the biggest event for that job, um, where all the clubs have like their info booth and stuff that type of stuff. Yeah, and so um, basically ASB is just kind of like serving the rest of the school. I know like a lot of people think that like you get like a lot of privileges with ASB, and that's kind of that is true. But you also have to realize that like you're putting yourself uh, before or sorry after other people. Yeah. Um, and so you're just you're basically just trying to create like a good environment for the rest of the student body. Um, and then we also have Spirit and Awareness Week. So every month we try and do an awareness um, type of event. So like obviously like for February upcoming, we're doing uh, Black History Month. And then uh, this month we're kind of focusing on, and on finals. So we're gonna have a connection week um, during that finals week just to kind of like ease the stress that's going on. Um, and so yeah, so Quinn is in charge of all that. So if you wanna talk a little bit more about that and like what your job kind of entails. Yeah, so basically I just do all of like Oh, uh, we just we do spirit weeks, so we just had winter week a lot, uh, the week before uh, winter break. So you decorate for all of that. We have a budget, and then uh, that budget entails like decorations and activities we want to do, and it's it's really fun actually, and it's a good way to involve yourself with the students, and it's really fun to hear like feedback about like what you would like like in future spirit weeks and stuff like that. So it's really fun. And if you guys don't know how to like balance a budget or like plan an event like you guys don't have to know any of that yeah, to get sure. ASB like 
you learn all that stuff they have we have a training over the summer and you guys learn how to plan the events you learn more about like, how to guide the events and we'll talk more about like the curriculum at the end but like you gain all the skills that you need to be successful in the class like you don't really have to know much coming into it so yeah. don't stress about that if that was one of your worries yeah. Um, this is an example of like we also have grade specific events and then so like trunk or treat was specifically kind of for seniors in the parking lot and then all the underclassmen could come like around to their cars and get candy. Um, so it's just another example of the events that ASD puts on for the school. Yeah, and so like for trunk or treat like us seniors kind of plan that so a lot of the times like if you guys are all freshmen so if you're going in as a sophomore you might be planning an event specifically for the sophomores at the school because you know the sophomores are best, you know? So that's kind of how we do that. We also have Renaissance, which I know you guys went through that whole slideshow at the beginning of the year, so we won't go through it in a lot of detail. Um, but sometimes we will have like Ren Fridays, which I don't think we've had very many this year. Um, but sometimes it'll be like, come to the stage on Friday and get a free donut if you're on Renaissance. Or sometimes it'll just be for sophomores. Like, if you're a sophomore and you're on Renaissance, come to the stage and get a free cookie or something like that. Um, so ASB kind of switches up events like that. So we always try to have like a little something going on. Um, this is more curriculum. Mm -hmm. So um, in order for ASB to be like an A through G required class, uh, we have to do curriculum. So every year, uh, Captain, she's not here today, but she's the advisor for ASB. Um, she chooses a new book that kind of focuses on like self growth and kind of like bettering yourself as a human and how you can contribute more to the world um, in more positive ways. And so. We do an involved training, which was the training that Marina was talking about over the summer. Um, so we have this uh, speaker come out, his name's Scott Bakovich. Um, and so he's part of involved and he kind of gives us like this whole training about like how to uh, kind of like just be a better person, how to connect with the students in more um, efficient ways that make them, this is so, like, for example, like, this is comfort, growth, and panic. So you want to kind of stay out of like that panic thing and not like do events that kind of make students go out too much out of their comfort zone and just kind of keep them within like the growth or the comfort but you know not doing too much growth because then that kind of like it loses yeah. trust between like the student body and ASB and that's like the biggest thing that we want um, for them to keep the trust and so yeah that's just kind of like you'll learn all about this if you do cho choose to join ASB um, yeah. yeah you learn how to plan like really balanced events because mm -hmm. you want it to be like you want participation but you don't want it to be boring um, and like Grima was saying, we really, we also focus kind of like on self growth, even like you can see like back on the back wall, we have posters. So we take like personality quizzes, we kind of like diagnose ourselves kind of and like figure out what type of person that we are and where our strengths are. Cause like I'm really good at organizing, but I'm not so great at like creative ideas. But like Grima is really good at creative ideas. So if we work together, like with her creative ideas, I can help her organize it. We can create like really awesome events. Because if you have a bunch of like just super organizational people, the event's not always super creative. So you kind of work to play to like your strengths. Mm -hmm. And I've definitely gotten to know myself better like as a person. And I've become more confident in my strengths. And I've kind of recognized like I could maybe grow in this area. Um, you also become a lot more outgoing like over the course of the class. Sure. Like I was terrified of public speaking when I started <laughs> this class. Um, and now like it's not that big of a deal to me. So yeah, that's like one of the requirements. You have to know how to like public speak. You have to know how to like write um, like a formal email to businesses or like yeah, you learn um, a lot of just yeah, really good like stuff. life skills. Yeah. So. Um, or just like even like speaking like out on the stage. Have you, I know like you guys have probably seen us be like, hey guys, like there's like churros up yeah. here. Like I like, you know it's just like everyday stuff like that that you think is like super terrifying, and then the more that you do, the more you get used to it. You also learn to really trust like the people within ASB, like the class itself becomes like really close and you guys all kind of like lean on each other and you trust each other. Um, and so that's really nice because in Foothill, usually when you are in class, you only have people like if you're a sophomore, you only have sophomores in your class, but ASB has students from all different grade levels. Um, and that's how I got to know a lot of like upperclassmen when I was an underclassman. Mm -hmm. um, and as an upperclassman now, I know a lot more underclassmen. So it's just a nice way to get to know kids from different grades as well. The other thing also for you is like such a, the captain herself who makes this class like such a safe space for you to come in for like anything you want. Yeah. Like we even have days where we don't do curriculum for like the first half of the class, we mm -hmm. just like meditate or like we literally just open up and tell like her what's going on in our lives. She's fine, I don't know if she's still there or not, the dog bed? 
She might be. Yeah. Like she she, <laughs> she wants, wants to, to I'll explain it. She wants to buy a dog bed to put behind her desk because a lot of the times like ASB students will just like come here and like sit on the floor, like try and like take a nap like under the desk. So she's like, let me get like a really big dog bed so that they can like sleep on the dog bed if they need to. Yeah. So um, but just like little things like that. Yeah, it definitely helps you create a bond with important people on campus. Yeah, for sure. sure. Become Captain might seem scary if you guys have seen her. <laughs> I entered ASB, I was yeah. so scared of her. Like, I was like, I don't want her to Especially yell at me. Especially now that she shaved her head. Yeah, yeah. she can seem really scary, but I promise you, she's so sweet. Mm -hmm. um, she's like the mama bear of ASB, that's what she calls yeah, herself. for sure. And we also, we don't do curriculum every day. That's every other Wednesday that we do it. It's really yeah. like, so it's, it's like, like once a month. It's, of, yeah. it's a tiny part of the class. Yeah. It's just, yeah. All right, Jason, you're good. And then, uh, stay connected, okay, and then one other thing, ASB is always during fourth period, um, so, I don't know if that, like, if makes... you have scheduling conflicts? Yeah, if you have scheduling conflicts or anything like that, um, we do it during fourth period just so that we can have enough time to plan events, like, during lunch, because that's kind of, like, the bulk of when we do things. Especially for Fridays. Yeah, for Fridays, that's, it's really important. Um, and so, yeah, um, a lot of the times, like, you'll be working, like, through break to fourth period to lunch, and so... That's not every single day, obviously, but ASB is a pretty good, um, or it's like a big commitment, kind of. Like, I know a lot of people think that like electives are just kind of like an easy A and stuff like that. And while ASB, it is very easy to get an A as long as you're pulling your work. Um, you need to make sure that like you're yeah. you're doing your load and that you're kind of contributing to everything. Because like this class doesn't work unless everyone is like yeah. working together and trying to like make the like make campus just a better environment. Yeah, there's a really big emphasis on like service leadership. Like you are here to be a leader, but you're here to serve your school community. Um, and one of the things that ASB doesn't really focus on is trying to make school feel like a safe place for everybody. Mm -hmm. So not only like we try to recognize the students, but we also try to recognize like the faculty and like from the teachers to the cafeteria workers to the janitors. Like we try to recognize everybody. Yeah. Um, and or we even really just like connect like our students with other schools. Yeah. Too. Like we do a lot of things with like Buena and Ventura and just like kind of try and intermingle a lot of um, kids. Yeah. So while we do have like the fun events, like there is like a greater like goal behind it for ASB. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, that's the Google Classroom if you want to get out your phones right now to join for like the application so you have all the information. Um, and then I don't know if you already follow our Instagram, but a lot of our events are always posted on there. We have like little updates. Um, sometimes we'll do like a little surprise event and we'll post about it on the Instagram. So you'll kind of miss out if you yeah. don't. We we'll also sometimes so. ask polls for like yeah. upcoming events, so mm -hmm. let the students choose. Do you guys have any questions about anything, like the application process, the different jobs, anything at all? Um, for the part two, like the, we only have to do one of the essays, right? So I actually got a question about that yesterday. That's the one that's like the essay about like who you are, like all of those. I'm not 100% sure, do you know the answer to that question? Um, they changed the application a little bit this year to kind of align with the rest. I think it's so anything, it'll be in the Google Classroom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's a really good question. I know other people have asked that too. Because mm -hmm. um, there's like three or four essays I know that it says. Um, and there's like the similar ones for each, and then they kind of have like the additional ones for biosciences. Are you guys thinking of applying to like bioscience or DTech as well, or are you just looking at ASB? Um, I think, well, I was just looking at ASB or like journalism, okay. but I wasn't going to do the other, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so I know um, some people that have done journalism in ASB, so it does yeah, work. Yeah, journalism work. is second period, so yeah. it works pretty well. And then that way your Wednesday and Fridays will be pretty easy. <laughs> Even I know people who are in bioscience who are able to make ASB work. Like they yeah, were able to take a class like at the college. Yeah, so if you are looking at bioscience, um, what I did is I just took- They changed survey to a period though, so that's, it throws it off. Yeah, they did change survey to period three, I think, or period one, something like that. Um, so that would be your uh, sophomore year class for bioscience. Um, but what I did when I had it, it was just during like fire. Um, so I was kind of able to kind of manipulate it a little bit more. So I just took my language at the college and then um, like got all that done and then it was it worked out really well. So I don't really know how it's gonna work with having that class be like a full period, but I'm sure if you talk to your counselor, you guys can work that. Yeah, better. your counselor and captain are always like really accommodating mm -hmm. for figuring out, like if you do get into the class, like figuring out how to make it work for your schedule. Yeah. 
And if you can't do ASB next year for some sort of scheduling reason, there, you, you have two more years after That's that. That's the nice so. thing about ASB and journalism yeah. and even like yearbook and uh -huh. stuff, is that they're only like year classes, whereas like bioscience and BTEC are like the three-year commitment. Mm -hmm. But like ASB, you can fit that in like whatever years you can. Yeah, for sure. And even just getting like one year of ASB is really helpful. Yeah. Or even just like helping out like Haley right mm -hmm. here and then Julia over there. And they're not even part of ASB, but they help out all the time. So yeah. like. If you have friends that are in ASB, that's also an option that you can just help out if you really want to, and it for some reason can't work out on your schedule. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Do you guys have any more questions? No? Okay, we'll let you go. You're free to go. <laughs> it looks like the whole